Hello everyone, I'm Aditya Sahu, a Technical Marketing Manager here at Infoblox. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating you how Infoblox grid deployment can be automated using Ansible on VMware vCenter Server. Infoblox grid deployment is a time-consuming task involving numerous manual steps like deploying vNIOS OVF, license assignment, networking setup, etc. This approach is not scalable since grid deployment time increases exponentially in case multiple members are required to be deployed. Now let's talk about our solution and what it offers. Using Ansible to deploy Infoblox Grid not only automates the complete deployment process but also streamlines the grid provisioning process. Infoblox grid deployment on VMware vCenter server is achieved through zero-touch provisioning playbook. This playbook contains following modules. VMware underscore deploy underscore OVF. This module deploys vNIOS of an existing vNIOS OVF file on vCenter server. VMware underscore guest. This module edits the vNIOS resources like CPU and RAM. NIOS underscore member. This module is developed by Infoblox and its job is to provision offline members in the grid master. And last but not the least, URI module. This module interacts with Infoblox VAPIs and joins members back to the grid master. Now let's quickly look at the workflow. Firstly, user invokes the Ansible Zero Touch provisioning playbook to deploy Infoblox grid. Post invocation, Ansible deploys grid master using an OVF file. During the deployment, Gridmaster is initialized with networking and license details using cloud init. Once Gridmaster is deployed, Ansible deploys grid members and initializes them with the networking and license details using cloud init. Post Gridmaster and member deployment, Ansible pre-provisions the members in the Gridmaster. Once members are successfully pre-provisioned, Ansible joins the member to the grid using Infoblox VAPIs. Now let's quickly jump to the live demo. Over here we see an Ansible control server and we have already downloaded vNIOS Zero Touch provisioning playbook. Along with vNIOS Zero Touch provisioning playbook, we also have a second file, nios underscore details dot ini. Let's quickly open the nios underscore details dot ini file to check out its contents. Once invoked, vNIOS Zero Touch Provisioning Playbook reads grid details like IP addresses, user ID and password from this file. User must populate these details in advance before using Ansible Zero Touch Provisioning Playbook. Now let's get started by invoking our playbook. vNIOS Zero Touch Provisioning Playbook prompts the user to enter license strings for grid master and members separately. This feature lets the user to apply a different set of licenses to grid master and members. Now let's quickly switch to the vCenter server console to validate that grid deployment has started. And here we see that grid deployment is in progress. Finally, our grid is deployed. Let's now log into the grid and validate the license assignment and grid status. All right, we will log into our grid using default user ID and password. Let's first verify the license assignment. And here we see that correct set of licenses are assigned to grid master and to members. Let's also verify grid member status. And here we see that members have joined grid master and are up and running. Ansible playbooks used in this video can be downloaded from Infoblox GitHub account. Infoblox grid deployment automation through Ansible not only speeds up the deployment process but also streamlines it. Thank you for watching this video.